Getting your max cape is one of the core milestones of RuneScape. Not only do you get to flex with a customizable cape, you get access to a lot of nice quality of life improvements, and as most players say, that's when you can actually start playing the game. But probably the worst part about the max cape is the grind to it in that most of the skill capes you get along the way for all your 99s are largely useless or at least unused in RuneScape today. So the question for this video is this. Would it be terribly overpowered if the max cape had all skill cape perks, or would it just be nice quality of life that saves us a lot of bank space? Good day, everybody. So this video comes about as a spur of the moment thought that I had, uh, actually while I was playing Melvor Idol, which uh, many scapers know about at this point. Um, I won't get into that, but uh, basically I just maxed in that game for the first and only time, and I got access to the max cape there. And the perk of the max cape in Melvor Idol is that it actually inherits all the other skill cape perks. Um, and if you don't know, uh, Melvor Idol basically has the same skills as RuneScape in large part. And I thought, wow, that's actually a little bit overpowered and very game changing for this game. And then I thought, what if the same thing were uh, active in RuneScape? What if the max cape just had all skill cape perks? And I thought to myself, I don't think it would be that overpowered or helpful at all in <laughs> most PVM or skilling situations. Um, I think it would just save some bank space. So I want to just express thoughts on this and I want to get your thoughts in the comments on uh, what you think about this too. The other point of this video is to kind of highlight and go over the state of skill capes today and that a lot of skill capes and their perks are really outdated and just no longer relevant or helpful in RuneScape today. Most players, if you Google or Reddit or whatever, what three perks should I pick for my max cape? Uh, because in your max cape, uh, if you don't know already, you can pick three skill capes and put the perks in there to have active at all times when you wear any cape. Um, and bearing in mind that on Anachronia, by the time you're maxed, you should also have a cape stand that allows you to put um, one other skill cape on there to be active at all times. Um, if you search the worldwide internet, you will see that all players have basically the same four capes uh, in their max cape and on the stand. The defense cape to save your life with a sign of life uh, in your uh, various PVM endeavors. The invention cape to save you charge drain. The strength cape because it adds hits to the dismember ability, so that's great for melee. And the ranged cape. Uh, because this adds an increased chance for your ammo special effects to proc, which is what range is all about. So pretty much everybody has these perks or some small variations. Some people like me have like a Slayer cape in there instead, or I had a fishing cape in there at one point instead of the ranged cape because uh, my ranged setup is terrible right now, so I'm not really using that much and benefiting from the ranged cape. But by and large, players have the same capes in their uh, max cape or anachronia cape slot. The only other possible alternatives or maybe the constitution cape for some small healing buff um, the attack cape i think is pretty cool actually because it provides a chance for your uh, gear that degrades to dust to not degrade uh, provides a small chance for that to happen on every attack would be really cool for extending the lifespan of like a ceramic or tectonic or something like that but because it doesn't directly give you uh, pvming or skilling benefits it's just not really used and I think this kind of sucks. There are a few other capes that would just improve quality of life a little bit, but they're not used because you only have a limited amount of slots to uh, throw into your max cape, and everybody just picks the ones that directly affect skilling or PVM. Actually, who are we kidding? Everybody just picks the ones that affect PVM, because the ones that affect skilling you can just keep independently. Like, uh, for example, the fishing cape I think is one of the most uh, beneficial slash, you could say, overpowered <laughs> skilling capes. Uh, it gives a 5% chance of fishing an extra fish or item when you're um, fishing. The reason I say this is a little bit overpowered is because this actually works at Crocious. And so between a shark outfit and the fishing skill cape, you actually have a chance of getting three fungal algaes at once. <laughs> and you'll typically get two a lot of the time. And this can actually give you an edge over other players because you can gather algae faster. Uh, no other skill cape has any benefit at all at Crocious or in many other situations, unless you're going for level 120 or 200 million experience. And most skill capes uh, don't really make anything uh, anything of that grind go faster. They kind of just save you supplies. Like the construction cape, for example, just saves you planks or has a chance to save you planks. Or the summoning cape has a chance to save you charms. Uh, things like that. They're just cost-saving things that only benefit people who are already going to be spending a crap load of time and probably money grinding anyways. So those are some examples of capes that I think are left in the dust a little bit and outdated. Especially something like the Prayer Cape, for example, especially with the in introduction of Fort 4 and 3. 
Um, the prayer cape is laughable because its perk is that you can use altars in your house without having to light herbs uh, in the burners. Um, not only is this kind of an outdated or maybe not a preferred method of prayer training for a lot of players because there are alternatives like the Seren Crystals or Vyres, uh, but now there is Fort 4 and 3, which is pretty accessible to most players and has public gilded altars basically once you upgrade it. And if you go to World 84, the Portables world, um, you will al almost always have someone there burning herbs and training. And if you don't, you can just burn like a full inventory of any herb and get like 10 minutes of gilded altar time. So that's another example of a cape that is kind of uh, left in the past, I think, and not really relevant today. Another reason why I think it would be a pretty good idea to just merge all capes or allow the max cape to have all skill cape perks is because very few skill capes uh, step on each other or overlap with each other or most importantly, very few capes are used in conjunction with each other to give you really overpowered or game-changing effects. Um, the biggest example of this is already, like I mentioned earlier, used in PVM, like having the defense cape active to save your life and the strength cape and range cape to give you various PVM boosts all in one cape. Um, that's about the extent of mix matching capes and like cape synergies that can really help your PVMing or skilling to any extent. Um, adding any of the other skill capes in their current state to one cape um, wouldn't really give you much new benefit. Now there are a few caveats that would have to come with this that I want to mention that you may already be thinking of and writing in the comments about or wondering if I'm going to mention, so uh, here they are. Firstly, there are eight skill capes that I count, including the quest cape, but excluding master skill capes that have activation abilities, which means you have to actually right-click them and activate them. If you jammed all these capes into one max cape, the right-click list of things that you can do with it would extend quite a bit. That could be really annoying, so there would have to be some uh, convenient way around that. Secondly, um, the way that the current max cape perks that you can store works, the three skill capes, these three skill cape perks actually apply to all capes. Uh, not just the max cape, um, in case you didn't know that. What I'm proposing here of all skill cape effects being active at all times would only work when you're actually wearing the max cape, I think would be fair. There's really no reason to max and then just instantly have all uh, capes available to you when you're wearing any cape. Um, I think it is a nice feature and a nice uh, bonus for you to be able to wear any cape and pick three skill capes and have their boosts. Plus, that's already been in the game for a long time. It's way too late to change that or rebalance that. But I think to be fair, if you did want to benefit from every single skill cape perk at the same time without having to go to the bank and swap them out, whatever, you should be wearing the max cape. Also, this is without really getting into the fact that some of the activations skill cape perk effects are, in my book, pretty useless. Like the hunter skill cape perk, for example, I don't really know of anyone that has ever used this to their benefit. Um, if you don't already know, the hunter skill cape allows you to right click activate it and then what it does is that if in a short period of time it allows you to lay down traps instantly so it adds another click in your already repetitive hunting routine to lay down traps faster after you've already hit level 99. Um, this is just dated I think and really doesn't benefit anyone who is not going for level 99 or 120 hunter as whatever resources you're thinking of gathering from hunter are probably available for monster drops or wilderness events or whatever. So. I do think some of the activation effects like that could be reworked to everyone's benefit, but that might be a story for a different time. And that's really all I have to say about this. Uh, without, If I go on, I think it'll just turn into a rant. <laughs> what I really wanted with this video is to bring attention to the state of skill capes today, throw out the idea of a max cape, just having all of them, uh, because I don't think it would be overpowered much at all, and I think it would just be a nice quality of life feature. And lastly, to hear your thoughts on this. Is there anything I'm missing? Is there any synergy of skill capes that is actually really cool that would be cool to know or think about? Or do you have any other thoughts on this simple, humble little topic? If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I... Washing? Thank you very much for watching, regardless of whatever you're watching. <laughs> I appreciate each and every single one of you. And I will catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this content and want to see um, real RuneScape guides, as well as maybe other little thought experiments like this, um, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I would also appreciate that very much. I will catch you later.